Okay, so you want to know which ingredients help stimulate hair growth and moisturize the hair? This is one of them. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm showing you how I make a rosemary oil hair mask made with shea butter and some other hair loving ingredients. This is a super rich and thick deep conditioning hair mask. So let's get right into it. So the first ingredient I'm going to be using is distilled water. So distilled water makes up about 60% of this hair conditioning mask. So for maximum hydration, I'm adding in 130 grams of distilled water. The next ingredient I'm going to be using is glycerin. So glycerin is a humectant, meaning it draws moisture from the air into the hair. It also creates a barrier to help prevent moisture from leaving the hair and the scalp. So I'm using nine grams of glycerin. So guys, this is our next ingredient and this is guar gum. So guar gum is a thickener. So what I'm going to do is combine it with my glycerin to form a jelly-like consistency that's going to be nice and slippery. So when applied to the hair, it's going to give us that nice slip that we love when we're adding deep conditioner and we want to have our fingers just glide through our hair when we're applying the deep conditioner. So in essence, guar gum can help reduce tangles and it prevents breakage. It also helps to reduce frizziness and it can help protect the hair strands as well as prevent product buildup. So I measured out one gram of guar gum. So just a quick note, if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So some of the other benefits of guar gum is that it also acts as a co-emulsifier, as well as a stabilizer for our deep conditioner. And as you can see here, it sort of looks a little thick and slippery, sort of like flax seeds. So guys, moving on to our next ingredient, we're going to be adding in some some pro vitamin B5. So pro vitamin B5 comes in a powdery form as well as a liquid form, but today I'm using the powder form. So pro vitamin B5 helps to moisturize the hair. It also helps to smooth the hair and seal the cuticles at the end. It also increases elasticity and helps increase shine. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is to take my pro vitamin B5 and mix it into the water. So this is what's known, if I didn't already mention this, is the water phase. So I'm just going to mix in my pro vitamin B5 and then I'm going to stir it and just make sure that it's stirred really well so that it dissolves. So now that the pro vitamin B5 is dissolved, I'm going to add in my glycerin and my guar gum into the mixture of my water. And the mixture is going to start to thicken up once I stir it. So it's going to almost be like a gelatin, but not quite as thick. So let's move on to our next ingredient. And this is one of my favorite hair and skincare ingredients, guys. This is shea butter. And I actually went and picked up this shea butter myself. So I got this shea butter directly from Ghana. And yes, I'm going to be using it in this rosemary oil deep hair conditioner. And I'm adding in 23 grams of shea butter. So shea butter is an extremely moisturizing butter and it makes an excellent choice for this hair mask. So this is the next ingredient, guys. This is BTMS 50. This is our conditioning agent, so I'm going to include 14 grams of BTMS 50 into this hair conditioning mask. BTMS 50 helps to reduce frizz. It also just makes the hair feel really nice and soft. So this next ingredient that I'm including is an emulsifier and a stabilizer, but it's also an emollient. It's going to help soften the hair and it also helps condition the hair. So it's a good fatty alcohol. And this is satyryl alcohol. I included seven grams of satyryl alcohol. 
So this next ingredient is my infused rosemary oil. So I infuse this rosemary oil with dried rosemary and several carrier oils. I will drop a link in the description box to the video showing you how I created this infused rosemary oil. Or you can click the little card at the top of the screen that will take you to the video after you're done watching this one, of course. So rosemary oil is going to help stimulate hair growth. It's also going to help soothe the scalp it has anti-inflammatory properties and it can help get rid of dandruff so those are the many benefits of rosemary oil so the next oil that I'm going to be including is some nourishing babasu oil so let's go ahead and add in 11.5 grams of babasu oil so babasu oil is an excellent hair conditioner. It makes the hair shinier, it makes it less frizzy and less prone to breakage. So now I'm going to go ahead and melt all my butters and oils together. Oh, but wait, I actually forgot to add in my rosemary oil. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm just going to let my butters and oils heat up over a water bath. So now that my ingredients are all melted, I'm going to go ahead and pour my water mixture into a bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my oils and pour it into the water mixture. So these are my oils, butters, emulsifiers, and of course my water and all the other ingredients. And now I'm just stirring it up to make sure that it's really mixed well. And as you can see, the mixture has started to thicken up already really quickly. So for this deep conditioning hair mask, I want it to have a whipped consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it and place it in the freezer to let it cool down for a little bit. So now that my conditioner has been in the freezer for about 15 minutes, I'm just going to take a look and see how firm it is. And actually it still looks pretty soft in the center, but not liquidy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and whip it up a little bit so that it can get a nice and fluffy consistency. So now that I've been whipping up this mixture for quite a bit, for probably about 15 or 20 minutes, it does have a really nice and thick consistency, just like I want. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is adding in some vitamin E. So guys, this is my vitamin E and I'm adding in one gram and I'm just going to mix it in. So now I'm taking some of my mixture and adding it into a little bowl and I'm going to add in my preservative, which is Optifin. So I'm adding in two grams of this preservative And now I'm just going to pour it back into my mixture, back over into my larger batch and stir it in. And then next I'm going to go ahead and use my hand mixer 
to mix all of my ingredients to make sure that my preservative and my vitamin E are mixed in really, really well. So look how nice and smooth the texture of this rosemary oil hair mask is. So I should really actually call this the rosemary oil and the shea butter hair mask or the shea butter and rosemary oil hair mask since those are my two main ingredients, right? But anyway, now we get to the fun part. So this is the part where I'm going to go ahead and add my mixture into an eight ounce jar. So yes, this mixture made eight ounces of hair conditioner. So I'm just going to take my time and make sure that all of my hair conditioner actually makes it into the jar and none of it falls onto my countertop because I want all of the goodness for my hair. So guys, this is the final product. This is my rosemary oil and shea butter deep conditioning hair mask, and it came out perfect, and it's thick, rich, and creamy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos which can be found on the screen. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!